guys welcome back today we're gonna be back outside working in the yard um i ordered a raised garden bed off of amazon now i thought about making one on my own building it but this one is made out of cedar it's very well made it had excellent reviews and i just thought it probably would be easier and better for me to just buy one and put it together <laughs> and it was it was very easy to put together i'll show you a little bit of that process and i'm very happy with it i really like it so i'm going to show as i said a little bit of the process of me putting it together i'll put a link in the description box below in case you want to buy one yourself we're going to go out and plant some of the vegetables that I got. I got some veggies and I got some um, herbs to plant in there. And I'm really excited about it. I've never planted any kind of garden. I know this isn't really a garden, but even a container garden <laughs> before. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. Let's go get busy doing that. Oh, before I do that, I wanna show you guys the progress on the stems that we propagated in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video, um, I'm going to link it. It's right up here. It's either up here or up here. I don't know. If you're watching on TV, you probably won't see it, but if you're on you know, a computer or your phone, it'll be up at the top. All right, let's check out these stems. All right, so on the first one, on our snake plant, no roots on this one but i did hear that it takes a good while for these to start growing roots so we're going to put it back in here this one is our zz plant we're not really getting any roots on this one yet either prop this one back in here now the pothos is typically the easiest to grow roots, at least for me. So check that out. You see this? <laughs> that grew out of that little node that was right there. And it actually is starting to have some roots here at the bottom. You see that? Little root there. So yeah, this one's doing great. I'm gonna put them back in here. Let them grow a little more. Struggling with life, y'all. <laughs> Air. I believe it was May 23rd when we first propagated those. So they've come, at least the pot those has come a good way in just a few weeks. So we'll keep We'll continue to keep an eye on those, see how much longer it takes for the other two to start growing roots. I, I was expecting it to take a while for those two because I had a lot of people tell me that and my research on it told me that, that it takes a while to get roots to grow on those. But those pothos, if you're wanting to multiply some house plants pretty quick, definitely propagate your, your pothos plants. Also, I had several comments on my rattlesnake plant. I purchased that at an Amish nursery. That's the only place that I have seen them. So if you have a place like that around you, maybe check there. I don't know if you can possibly buy them online, but mine is still doing really good so far. I do pretty good for somebody who really doesn't know that much about plants. <laughs> anyway, let's hope the garden bed does as well as the house plants are doing. Fingers crossed. Also, my peace lily. I didn't show you guys this one in my um, house plant video. I have struggled with the peace lily like this one gives me the most trouble but I think I have finally found a spot that it is happy in because it is finally like growing um, it doesn't have any bad leaves on it um, I don't know it's just happy here I did have it over by my TV for a long time um, I had it in my bedroom for a while and it just it just wouldn't do anything. It just looked like it was gonna die, but it's really coming back to life now. Like these are some new, this is some fairly new growth back here. Um, now peace lilies, you don't wanna water them until they start to wilt. They'll look, they'll look like they're really dying. Like they're wilted. See these are, this one's, these are starting to wilt a little bit and the soil is really dry. Um, but once you water it, it'll just pop right back up. I'm so excited about the package that I just got from Amazon today. It is a raised planter bed and I actually um, have been wanting to order one of these for a while but I've just kept putting it off because I thought maybe I would build one 
myself, um, but I decided to order this one, and it's from the Boldly Growing store on Amazon. Um, this one is four by two, so it's four foot long, two feet wide. Um, they also have a version that has a shelf underneath, but I decided just to go with the regular one. And let's get this cut open so we can get it out and put it put together. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first open the box. Um, it's not a lot of pieces, and I read all the reviews before I ordered it to see how difficult it was to put together, and everybody said that it was fairly easy. Um, but you can see, like, it's already put together in sections, and then you just screw the sections together. All right, so I'm going to grab my drill so that we can get this put together. I store my drill in my hutch. I know it's highly unusual, but it's the only place I can find to store these things. I keep my tools, my drill, my nail gun, all of that stuff in my hutch. Let's get everything out of the box and see. I think there's going to be two of, like, the side panels and then obviously four legs so I'm just going to put all the like items together to make it a little easier as I put this thing together. So here are the legs and you can see they already have pre-drilled holes in them which makes it even easier so you know exactly where to put your screws in um, and you can see that how they're put together here. It looks to me like it's very well made um, they built it so that it's easy for, you know, the buyer to put it together themselves. This is the side panel, I believe. <laughs> Let me find the directions. It'll make this a lot easier. I have a tendency to skip directions sometimes and go straight to building things, but I wanted to do this one correctly, make sure I followed all the directions so it doesn't fall apart. It does have a handy QR code that you can scan and watch a video on how to assemble it if you don't like if you're like me and you're more of a visual person, it really helps me to see it being built rather than read it. So that really helped me a lot. We are at the garden center at Lowe's this morning. We're going to hunt for some plants to put in our brand new raised planter bed. I'm so excited to get some plants in this thing. I definitely want to plant veggies and herbs that I will use. Um, so I'm going to do some, I know some bell peppers. I use those a lot. 
Um, I definitely want oregano and basil. Um, not sure what else. We'll just go check out and see what they have here. This is a beautiful clematis vine. My dad really likes clematis vines. He's got a couple that are growing um, near their storage building by their house, and they're so pretty. I thought about getting a tomato plant, but my parents are already growing tomatoes, so I thought there really wasn't any point. It would be better to get things that they don't, they're not already growing. That way we can just share. <laughs> That's the good thing about living next door to your family. lady that's working outside like with the herbs and the vegetable plants told me that if you plant marigolds with your tomato plants that it'll keep the bugs away. I had never heard that before. I don't think I had ever seen flowers like these before. I love them because it looks like inside there that it's gold like been painted with gold or something. Little gold flecks. It's so pretty. I had my mom help me pack it outside. It's not that heavy um, as long as it's empty. So it came with this black, um, I guess it's like a weed barrier sort of thing, material to put down in there and that helps keep the soil in, keep it from sliding through the cracks.
a little pitiful looking. I've been watering them every day. Like it had plenty of water last night, but it is dry today. So we're gonna plant it, it should be fine. I'm actually gonna plant a few seeds. I've never planted any vegetable seeds before. I'm gonna plant some lettuce and I had something else. And I'm gonna plant those in the front and just see if it comes up. I don't know like how you're supposed to plant lettuce. <laughs> um, I heard that they could grow in like shallow containers. So I don't know. My dad said he thinks I need another bag of soil. So I'll pick another bag up and put in here. But for now I have green peppers some yellow peppers i've got oregano cilantro and basil in this planting bed i'm good with the herbs i just need some veggies my dad is growing um cherry tomatoes green onions i think they have some squash and zucchini and something else so we should have a good mixture of veggies here um we really need to grow some pumpkins and some cantaloupe because I love pumpkins. Pumpkins too, but I meant watermelon and cantaloupe. I love watermelon and cantaloupe, y'all. It is so good, especially when it's hot and summer and you put it in the fridge and it's good and cold and juicy. I'm going to put those lettuce seeds in here and whatever else I have and we'll just see if it comes up. If it does, it does. It was like a dollar, two dollars for a pack of seeds, so no big deal if it doesn't come up, right? I'm just giving it a whirl and seeing what happens. <laughs> I've got radishes, chives, green onions, lettuce, and cantaloupe. And I'm not going to plant the cantaloupe in here because I know it like spreads everywhere. So I'm going to give these to my dad and maybe he will plant them. I think they spread like they grow on a vine, right? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't think I can grow them in here. So I'm going to put those aside and give those to my dad. And I looked on the back and it says, it says I can plant them April through June. So I don't know if you can see that or not. The lettuce says May through June. And these radishes, this says March through August. So I think I'm pretty good. The only thing questionable is the green onions. So I'm just gonna plant a few seeds of each one. A few professional gardeners out there, bear with me because I know I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's start with the lettuce. I definitely want some lettuce. My dad's growing green onions, so I really don't even need, even really need to grow those. So, so it's just some little black seeds in there. I've had these plants for like a week and a half probably <laughs> and I was waiting for my raised bed to come in so that I could plant them and finally got it put together yesterday so now they're planted it's already growing peppers like look at this some squash and some zucchini but I'm gonna give those to my mom and dad and let them plant those you want a treat Take that tail wag well good morning friends how you been doing doing good doing finally got good. that cast up well you only had it on a week but we was glad to see that thing go oh, wouldn't we oh my goodness yeah now if we can get just rid of these post-op shoes <laughs> we'll be all right they traded in 
the um, cast for a post-op shoe. So he's got to wear a post-op shoe on both feet. He's Go loving. back on Tuesday and get it checked out again. I t we forgot to mention why you had the cast to begin with. So a lot of people were asking about that. But he had some blisters on his toes. And they just put the cast on there to keep the, the pressure. That's what it was. Keep mm -hmm. the pressure off of his toes. Right. So they're looking good. Healing up. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Goatee come in pretty good this week. <laughs> he got him a fresh <laughs> new haircut and a beard trim. I saw it to you next week. <laughs> It'll be all spread the word. I will show my hair next week. <laughs> What's the name of this? If that isn't love. If that isn't love by Dottie Rambo, you said. Dottie Rambo, yeah. And Elvis did this one. I encourage you to look it up. Yeah, both of them did. Did it? Okay. He loved the splendor of the Knowing his destiny was a lonely hill called Alabama. before the big Elvis movie comes out. Oh my goodness. Looking forward to that now. Appreciate you and love you. See you again next Sunday. Bye bye. So I've got some strawberries growing here. Not a lot, but a few. It's only been a few days since I planted these, but it has rained so much here. Um, I'm afraid it's gonna like damage them, but you see this yellow pepper growing? And I got some greens over there, green peppers. Did a little baby pepper there. 
Um, and then over here is some lemon balm. It's doing really great. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm sweating. <laughs> it is hot here today. It's hot every day, it seems, lately. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've done any con container gardening. If you have any tips for me, let me know those as well in the comments below. If you look closely, you might see a little doggy in the window back here. Sorry, I got dirt on my hands. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. We appreciate you so much here on our channel. We are close to 25,000. I try not to get up in the numbers like I did in the beginning <laughs> because I was just so amazed. I'm still amazed. Still blessed. I can't believe. Still, you know, almost a year later, I'm blown away by it. And just so thankful. So, thank you guys so much. I hope all of you have a great week. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.